How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching another video. So I got a lean engine called P0171 in my car and today we're going to decide how to diagnose this problem. It's either going to be a vacuum leak or a fuel delivery problem. And as always guys, if you want to purchase any of the products mentioned in this video, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Ah yes, the dreaded vacuum leak. If you think of your engine as a perfectly sealed system, your computer in your car knows how much air should come in and how much air should go out. Your engine is being held together by a bunch of gaskets. If you look over by your throttle body, there's one attaching it to your intake. Your valve cover gasket is attached to the engine block with another gasket. And if you look all over the engine, there's a bunch of hoses attached to your engine. And if there's a leak or a tear in any one of those, it's going to start to suck in unwanted air into that set amount that the computer knows should be there. And as you can imagine, if that air fuel mixture is disrupted, it can throw an engine code. Now the other scenario we can go with is a fuel delivery problem. Maybe when you're stepping on that throttle, you're asking for more fuel, that fuel pump just doesn't have enough power or pressure to get the fuel to where it's supposed to go. Or you might have great fuel pressure, but there might be something blocking the path of the fuel getting to where it's supposed to go. Or even possibly there might be a leak somewhere in that fuel system. So we're either gonna have a problem with too much air or too little fuel, but we need a way to decide which way to chase down this problem. And today we're gonna to have a look at the OG way of doing it, the vacuum gauge. Ah yes, the old school vacuum gauge. If you wanna purchase this exact one, make sure you check out the link in the description below. If you're in a hurry, Amazon can have it delivered to you overnight. But that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the old school OBD2 scanner. You can tell a lot about engine health by measuring the amount of vacuum inside of an engine. Now the thing we're gonna be looking for is number one, where this needle is going to rest. If it's anywhere on this side between five and 10, that would probably tell me I have some type of vacuum leak. If it comes up to here in this normal area between 16 and maybe 20 and 21, I probably don't have a vacuum leak. The second thing we might notice is when this needle stops wherever it decides to stop, the needle might decide to stay put, it might slowly pulsate, or it might vibrate back and forth like this. Now, that's for a different diagnostic video. That might tell you things like I have worn out spark plugs I need replacing, bad valve guides, uh, all kind of different things. But for this video, we're just interested in where it's gonna stop. So I'm gonna warm up the car, plug this into a vacuum line, and let's see what we get. All right, I've got the car warmed up here and attached to a very good vacuum source. And you can test that a couple of different ways, right? When you unplug the hose, you put your thumb over it, you can feel the suction. Also, if you start the car up and disconnect the hose, it'll act a little bit weird. So we got the car warmed up, attached to a good vacuum source. Again, if we're on this side between, I don't know, five and 10, probably a vacuum. But if we can get in this green, we should be good. Let's start her up. All right, what are we looking like here? Oh, yep, okay. In the green, holding steady. It's not leaking down this way. Oh, I'm impressed. Not a lot of needle movement. I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle. Now, when I open up the throttle, it's going to lessen the vacuum in the engine. And this should kind of bounce back down this way and then kind of come back up that way when the vacuum builds up again. Let's give it a go. What that's telling me is this is most likely not a vacuum leak, but I'm not going to put that out of my mind. I'm not going to totally dismiss it, but the way this is reading, I don't have a vacuum leak. 